from WFSB, this is an Eyewitness News update. Hello, and thank you for watching and joining us for today's top stories. I'm Stephanie Simone. Starting in Bristol, where a woman accused of opening fire inside of a police station is facing a long list of charges, including attempted murder. Police say a woman told officers that she was at the Bristol Sports Bar and Grill beforehand had a couple of drinks, claimed she was depressed and was going to go to the police station and threatened to kill officers if they didn't kill her. Suzanne LaPrize was there. Now, police say nobody was hurt in the shooting, but LaPrize caused $26,000 worth of damage. A Groton woman facing several charges after police say she attacked an elderly woman. It happened at the bus stop on Plaza Court. Police say 53-year-old Catherine Hudak ran off after the unprovoked attack and that she did not know the victim. When first responders arrived, they say they found the 82-year-old victim with cuts and bruises and a swollen face. She was taken to the hospital and is expected to survive. In Waterbury, a murder suspect under arrest, police say 24-year-old David Rogers killed 62-year-old Anthony Ciccarelli inside of a Kendall Circle home back in August. We're told Rogers is a convicted felon and was on parole when that murder happened. He faced a judge Friday. His bond set at $1.5 million. All right, our first alert for Saturday continues. We'll see periods of rain heavy at times. We've already seen cancellations, in fact, come into our eyewitness newsroom for outdoor activities. Uh, so you'll want to have an alternate plan for sure. There's even a concern for some, uh, some flooding, uh, given the rain could be heavy at times, especially across southwest Connecticut, where a flood watch is in effect for, for Fairfield County. Uh, we're looking at periods of rain. Through the course of the day, it's a slow-moving, potent cold front, so slow to arrive, slow to push through, slow to exit. It's not until after sunset on, on Saturday that that rain will come to an end. Uh, the heaviest will be across western Connecticut. We could see one or two inches there, perhaps some locally higher amounts, half an inch to an inch across the eastern half of our state. For Sunday, it's going to be blustery, a drier day, upper 50s, winds gust 20 to 30 miles an hour, a calmer wind for Columbus Day Monday, mostly sunny, upper 50s near 60. Spotty showers possible Tuesday, mid and upper 60s, dry Wednesday, Thursday, then more rain by the end of next week.